Hi, I'm Aruna Chauhan and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. In this video, I'm gonna focus on Brightspace D2L content formation. So, <clears throat> students and teachers spend most of their time on this content tab and Brightspace allow you wonderful tools to organize your teaching material. So, this is our course selector. You can select your course here. So in this nav bar, we can see this content tab. And if you are not able to find this here, so um, this is in the course admin. Uh, if you want to customize your nav bar, you need to click that. And you can see that here we have the content tab, assignments, quiz, or if you want to add surveys, rubrics, it's all here. You can add and customize your nav bar. So here I have this content tab. When I just click it, you can see I have these three new units here and this is visible. Anytime, if you don't want it to be seen by your students or the parents you can just click it and bring it to the hidden mode when you click it again now it's visible so here we have these two icons one is talking about uh, add existing material so we have this first unit that is global citizenship this is our unit and then we have lessons and you can add more folders to organize your material. So when I click this overview, you can see I have this one. Then I, I have the content. And moreover, there is a video too. So the bright space allows you to add material from outside too. You can add blogs, you can add um, YouTube videos or any other material. So at any stage, if you want to add in the existing unit, you need to add this. You can get the material from Google Drive. You must be logged in and then you can just have it from here. You can drag the material from OneDrive to, and this is the assignment tab. So there are two ways to upload assignments. One is that you can drag and drop or you can browse. The second one is here. You can bring this assignment to your nav bar and you can create your own. So when I just add existing and I'm clicking this assignment. So this is the assignment I have already used somewhere. So I can reuse it in another, um, uh, another unit or in another lesson. So when I just click here, created successfully. So when I go to the assignment page, I can see this is the assignment published. The dates are given here and I can edit my assignment at any time I like. So email users without submissions. So I can just email without its submissions. I can add feedback and other. <clears throat> so when I just click this, suppose this student has submitted me this assignment. Now it's my choice that I can just see one by one or I can download all the assignments at one time and then evaluate it. So this is the assignment submitted. And here are the remarks. 
So you can give your remarks in the form of audio or video too. It's all up to you. When I add to existing and here we have discussion. So you can add discussion from here or you can just drag and drop from your screen or you can browse that. When I click this uh, discussion, I have already one discussion here. Right now it's hidden from the student, but at any time I can make it visible. So this is the assignment. Uh, is it, this is the discussion. And in this discussion, there are threads too. So it's up to you how you want to see that. You want to see that with the first name of the author or the last name of the author or from A to Z or Z to A, or it's up to you. So when I just click this, you can give further instructions too, like you have to respond at least one of the thread or the discussion of your classmate. You will not be able to see your classmate's response until you have posted your own. So these are the already made threads. If you want to create your own thread, you can start from here. You can write down the subject and then your own remarks. You can add attachments here. You can add audio too. Then just post it. Next to this, we have quiz. So just like assignment and discussion, you have two ways to work on the quiz. One, you can drag and drop from your screen or you can add your quiz yourself. So this is already made quiz. So here is the name of the quiz category. These are the questions. You can shuffle the questions or um, you can just uh, make it in a chronological way. It's up to you. And there is a small column here. It's talking about description. You can on or off it as per the requirement of your course material. Then you have header and footer. So you can also impose restrictions. So what's the due date when the quiz has started or the quiz is about to start, has started date or has end date. So if your quiz has uh, some time durations, you can use this availability or it's up to you how you want to get your student to proceed with that. Then this is assess assessments. So once it's depend upon you, if you allow attempt to be set as graded immediately or upon completion. So it can work both the ways. So all the quiz and the discussion and the assignments are here. At any case, if you, I don't want that it should be here. I can delete it anytime. I just need to click these three dots and delete. Now it will ask me choose whether to um, remove from the content. Uh, I, I can remove this content. It's asking me remove the topic from the content but keep the associated file or activity in the course. So you can permanently delete it or you can just keep it for the time being. So here I am just deleting it. In the same way, if I don't want to, I can delete any time.
Well, these were the existing files. Now, what about if I want to create a new unit? So you can always do that with this new unit. You can name that um, new unit one and it's saved. So as we did previously, uh, it's here and right now it's hidden. I can make it visible. And now I just want to change the chronology. I can bring it at the top. I can again add anything, any video, any assignment, discussion, quiz. Suppose I want to just create discussion. So I have these two discussions. I, can, I have already used that somewhere. I can reuse that. And if I don't want to reuse, I have this new discussion here. So one discussion is already here. If I want to create new, new forum. So now it's asking create a new topic in this forum with the same title. Yes. So now it's up to you. If you want to allow anonymous post or you want the students to name themselves or users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other thread in each topic. So these are the different options given to you. It's your choice how you want to continue with that. Save and close. So in this we have the post these are the different posts and the students can comment on that and when i just go back this was the new unit and when I click this, here right now is nothing. If I add something, I'll reach that assignment again. Discussions. So right now we have this that we have created one, two, three, four. So you can subscribe this, hide it from users. You can add it the topic or view topic. Because I'm using a trial version, so it's not, uh, it cannot be seen here. But if I just add the existing one like this. It's here. So in this way, you can add anything. I have added this one. I can add more. I can add discussion. Oops. The discussion is here and I think I repeated it. So now I can add quiz too. So the quiz is visible here. So when I go to quiz, it's all here. So Brightspace is a wonderful um, forum that allows you to just organize your material into, um, into units and then lessons and then folders. And uh, you can add the videos or um, any other uh, social media material to here. So it's a wonderful way to organize systematically and for a long time.
at any time you can add it you can delete it and if you don't want the material uh, you can just click and delete it so yeah that's all for now hope this video will help you to organize your material easily and quickly thank you